Good evening and welcome to this Monday night edition of Michael's Musings. As always, I'm so glad that we uh, get this chance to be together during this Musings time, uh, kind of keep united during this pandemic. So thank you for tuning in and uh, for being a part of the Musings, because tonight I want to talk to you about this. This is my grandfather clock. It actually never belonged to my grandfather. Uh, it actually belonged to my mother, who then gave it to me uh, and, and, uh, and passing it down um, from one generation to another generation type of thing. And it's going to probably work for many, many more years to come. They call it a grandfather's clock because um, there was an old song, I think, or something goes on. There's a legend as to reason why they're called grandfather clocks, but there was a clock that was hanging on a wall that had a pendulum uh, like that in, in a hotel or something. I can't remember. You can always Google that part. But what I like to talk to you about this grandfather clock is that it's very old school, as com uh, compared to you know uh, our phones that we have now, which is pretty much my clock that I keep uh, with me all the time and tells me the time as well as my watch. This is all high tech stuff, and it's so cool because with the daylight savings and all that stuff, it automatically adjusted itself. And that's so cool, uh, and it can do so much more. Of course, it's a little mini computer in our hands now down with these uh, phones. But um, with this old technology here, I had to change the time myself. But the cool part about it is, because we don't want to discard our old technologies, just because it's old doesn't mean it's not worth anything anymore. Because when there's a power outage, guess what? This thing keeps going, because it's mechanical, not digital. It uses these weights. Uh, pulling it down the pulleys and stuff and the pendulum back and forth and and, and so as long as I keep the weights pulled up uh, This sucker is gonna go on for a long time uh, And it stays pretty darn accurate too. I mean, I have to adjust the time every once in a while, but pretty much it stays pretty accurate um, Being mechanical it's old and reliable and, and so we don't want to discard it either so you know what? We can enjoy our modern technology and we can enjoy our old technology because there's a place for all of that in our lives. So just because you think that either you're too modern and people don't want anything to do with you because you live in a digital world and, and the older generation has nothing to do with you, uh, or if you're the old generation and you think the young generation doesn't have anything to do with you, guess what? We need all these generations. We need all of us. We're all on the same team. So don't forget that. We're all united, both old generation and young generation. It takes all of us to be the world that we're in now. So think about that as you uh, go on this journey we call life. Please stay safe out there. I know many of you all have been vaccinated like myself, uh, but still stay your, uh, keep your precautions going because the virus is still out there. We're not done with it yet, but we're getting closer. The numbers are going down and we're going to be back to in-person worship. I'm so excited on uh, Easter Sunday, April 4th. Mark it down. So um, get the word out. We're going to be back to in-person worship. But please stay safe out there. In the meantime, know I miss you all. I love you all. And I hope you have a great night. And God bless you.